Hey all my people, I thought I would just go ahead and make a quick video discussing some of the new tactical elements implemented into FC25 and why that can be seen as such a positive feature for the game going forward. So I've just hopped on into my career mode that I'm currently playing behind the scenes. It's a severe career mode and we are doing quite well at this very moment in time. Um, I have them set up in a 4, 3, 2, 1 because I do think that that is probably the best formation in the game, possibly. Just my opinion, let me know down below what your favorite formation could possibly be. But talking about the tactics, talking about the elements added into it, I love the idea that they've gone ahead and added and, you know, and changed certain focuses. So before we had the poacher role, for example, and that was mainly just set to attack, meaning that the player would always look to make runs in behind and make sure that he was trying to be a nuisance for the opposition's back line. Whereas now you have a poacher that will still do that, but he can also look to drop off the back line and link up the play very, very nicely, making sure that he is being a nuisance still to the opposition's back line but also being able to help with the build-up play every now and then. So a support role for Poacher is fantastic. Um, I have cycled through a few of these, but I haven't really been able to do too much and really notice too much with it. Advanced role, I'm pretty sure it always had attack, support, and complete. I'm pretty sure. Whereas the target forward had balance, attack, and wide. That hasn't really changed either. And then the false nine has not changed. I would have expected the false nine to maybe have just a balanced role, allowing for the player to be able to drop off the back line quite a bit and into the midfield, maybe have them dropping a lot deeper into the midfield zones and then allowing them to play slightly higher up if needed or required. But for the time being, the fact that they have gone ahead and implemented new focuses does lead me to believe that they can do so at a later point as well, which also kind of makes me mad because a whole lot of goddamn tactics that I've already made could utilize a few of these newer roles. And now... They're, they're in the game. God damn it. Anyways, the next big thing and the major role change that they have brought into the game is the classic number 10, a traditional attacking midfielder through whom most creative and attacking play will go through. So if you think about Kevin De Bruyne, if you think about Mesut Ozil, if you think about Bruno Fernandes, although I would probably say KDB and Fernandes are not really classic number 10s, but they could be, but Mesut Ozil, for example, you know, players like that. But I love the fact that they've gone ahead, they've implemented the role, and then they've added two new focuses to it. So you have the normal wide play where they will look to drift wide. Now, this is where I think more a KDB, maybe a full Foden, potentially a Bruno Fernandes could come into play. If you are playing a 4-2-3-1 and you have them directly behind the striker, you would be able to see a Bruno or a KDB drifting into the wider channels, whipping in crosses, applying the forwards that are in and around those zones with potential attacking movements. But we've also got the ability for them just to focus on the interior zones, attack those middle areas, you know, play really between the lines, collect the, collect the ball, dis distribute passes, I can't even speak. I'm really excited about this, um, but I've got it for my career mode so far. I've got it as classic 10s with the focus being set to wide. Now, another thing I also noted was the deep line playmaker role has got build up and it's got defend. Before, I'm pretty sure it only had defend, whereas now it's got build up, which is really, really good. It's really productive because you would expect a deep line playmaker not to just be able to defend that that that's never been the case but of course you want them in those deeper zones so that's why i always set it to defend or i always had it on deep line playmaker for defend but anyways now it's on build up meaning that they will be able to drop deep receive passes collect the in the earlier phases of the builder play the you know possession then distribute it further forward and they can look to roam up the pitch if needed or required so that is also a nice element added into it um, a few other roles and focuses i haven't really cycled through quite a, a lot of them i've 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 done it, but I haven't done it properly. Um, the half-winger role has got balance and attack. That's always been a, a feature. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. If, if, I, if I'm missing anything out, please let me know down below. What is your... Oh, I see it. I, I feel it. Holding midfielder has got a new focus. Ball winning. But let me know down below what your new favorite focus or role is in the game. Because, I mean, there's, there's a few new ones that I... I'm desperate to try out, but ball winning holding midfielder. So Casemiro, um, I can only think of Casemiro right now, but a Casemiro, can you believe it? So this, obviously this player will look to be very aggressive and imposing towards the opposition, winning the ball back, putting in tackles, sliding all over the place. Proper Casemiro, you could say, but I love that they've added that into the, the holding role. That's fantastic. So before we just had defend and I think it was only defend really, wasn't it? And now they've added in ball winning, which is, it just, it does something for me. Um, as for the deep line playmaker, we've got build up and then we've got defend as well. Box to box, they've just left it on balance, which does make sense for a box to box midfielder. You would expect them to be able to attack and defend and 
be in all different phases of play. Now, another position, we will talk about the centre-back soon enough, another position that they have changed is the wing-back role. Before, it was only on balance, so they would only ever get forward every now and then and then drop back and defend, which was quite nice, and they would get higher pitch compared to the full-back role. But now, they've got the support role. So if you, if you are looking to maintain possession for a prolonged period of time, you will see, in this case, Pedrosa looking to you know, play higher up the field and add to the attacking outlets and also look to link the play in that wider left channel, which is very, very, very nice. The one thing I would say is that I'm quite disappointed in, I did comment on this earlier, but the the false back role, right? We've got, we when you think of false back role, you think of Trent, you think of Pedro Porro, you think of Destiny Udogi from, from Tottenham. You've got the balance role, you've got the defend role. Great. We needed an attacking role for the false back because when Trent is in that midfield position, he looks to get higher up the pitch. He's almost playing as a number 10, just like Pedro Porro, just like Destiny Udogi. So I am kind of heartbroken. I'm shattered by the fact that they haven't implemented the attacking false back role because that would have been a great little addition to add to the game. Um, in terms of the attacking wing back role, it's balance and attack as per always. So the major changes have been um, in the full back area has been the wing back role now in terms of the defenders you've got ball playing defenders you've got defend you've got build up as always but now you've got aggressive now this could be very dangerous for you as the user because i could just imagine alessandro martinez running out of position breaking the opposition attacker and leaving a huge gaping hole so i would maybe say utilize this at your own expense if you're chasing a game and you want to win the ball back aggressively and it's balls to the walls and gun ho and all that BS. Feel free, be aggressive. But for the time being, I mean, the boulder play being set to like a more like a balanced approach does also help quite nicely. But it also, in the past at least, has exposed the back line. So I will be testing it out. I will be trialing it. But again, I want to hear your comments down below in the description because that would be great too. But I do like the idea of having an aggressive sense back. Um, somebody like Alessandro Martinez, uh, Kuti Romero from, from Tottenham again. I, I'm just thinking of Tottenham players here. But nonetheless, it is quite cool. It is quite aggressive. I like the new focus change. And the last focus change that we will speak about is the sweeper keeper. Now, before it was only set to build up. Now we have a more balanced role where he can look to leave his area every now and then and collect the loose balls and win possession back and distribute the ball back into possession of one of his sense backs or his back line or the midfield or whatever. So I do like that they've also added that. It adds a bit more diversity to the goalkeeping areas because, I mean, seriously, having a goalkeeper and then a sweeper keeper and then having just two role changes for the goalkeeper was... It needed a bit more. And hopefully, this means that EA will be implementing newer roles. I was very excited when I was reading the little breakdown debrief thing where it was saying, you know, we've added new roles. I was like, wow, that's crazy. Um, so I do hope that they do implement a bit more of this going forward. But we'll see. We'll see. It, it does it does add a nice little bit of hope and, you know, glimmer, a bit of light at the end of the tunnel, really. Um, and I also know that a few of you guys have been complaining about the defense and the defenders being too wide and it's so easy to play through, especially for the Ruben Amram tactics that I made a few weeks ago. I'm here to tell you that they've fixed that. So we, I, I was initially thinking of changing up the back line and, and so on, um, but it, it seems that they fixed it and I will be testing and trialing that out soon enough when i release my amarum video in a few weeks time but it's it's good to know that they have tested that out they have more or less kind of reset it to having them you know condense a bit more um and they also mentioned about having people tracking defensive run or attacking runs so your defenders will actually look to track back your midfielders will also look to do the same now i haven't played a game yet but that's just what they've said in their little breakdown debrief thing that they uh when i started the game up so Anyways, that is my thoughts and my opinions. I do like the several new focuses and role changes that they have implemented into the game. I do wish they had brought them out a bit earlier. But hey, you know what? At least they've done it. Anyways, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. And um, I hope you have a damn great day. I'm out of here. Peace.